who lived at the end of this road, who grew up there, were educated, and left for war from Lawrence Street. When I was a young boy, my yard abutted Mrs. McCune's yard. And as a young child, I would hear the stories of the McCune boys, the McCune boys, what they did, and the sacrifice that they made. And it wasn't until years later, and recently in the last few months, when you sit down and reflected on, what about Mrs. McCune? What about the mother? Can you imagine having a knock on the door because there was no telephones in those days and there was no instant communication? And that message is standing there in 1944 with the telegram. And then, eight weeks later, the messenger knocks again, and there's another telegram that your sons aren't coming home. 1953, a third knock on the door. Sorry, ma'am, but you know what? Your son Robert's not coming home either. Imagine what went through their minds. Today we're on, and we do have some representatives from the Gold Star Mothers here with us. And again, I can't say what goes through your mind, and I'm sure that you're reliving now, and we appreciate you coming out here to represent Mrs. McCune. So, we choose the logo. In the fire stations, throughout the fire service, we nickname the vehicles. We have the East Side Express in Worcester, the Bronx Bomber I've seen in New York, Engine 16 in Washington, D.C. is first in at the White House, Today we're going to unveil the McCune Road. That's the tribute that we want to pay to those three boys. We're going to continue the tribute that the city gave to them back in the 40s and the 50s. And we're going to remember these guys as long as this fire truck is in service. And we hope that the one that replaces it and replaces it will always bear the McCune Road logo. That's it. Three guys went off the war and didn't come back. And today, we're going to honor them. So, Franny and Eddie, Jimmy, who is the honors? Ladies and gentlemen, these are the surviving nephews of the uh, Freemason brothers. 